Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Pubfinders Go Retro. Uh, my name is Chris, and I'll be taking you guys through a series of video game playthroughs. Um, in case you don't know, I play Drambeer, a dwarven monk, on our Pubfinders live show. Uh, that's where we play Pathfinder uh, once live on Twitch um, every two weeks. Um, we've got a large back catalog so far of uh, episodes, so if you want to check that out, uh, they're available on our channel as well. Um, today, we're going to be playing System Shock, uh, in which I play a different kind of character, a nameless hacker uh, on aboard a dilapidated Citadel station. Uh, trying to take down a rogue AI named Shodan. Um, System Shock was released in 1994 um, for PC, Mac, Linux, I believe. Um, and it's it's a pretty amazing game for its time. Uh, a lot of interesting things that hadn't been done before. This is around the era of uh, when Doom was released. Doom, the original. Um, and it does have the same kind of uh, aesthetic texture-wise as Doom does, um, but it's just there are some amazing things going on here. Um, full rendered 3D uh, physics, uh, amazing like lighting effects um, for the time. It, it's insane, and the plot's amazing, and the gameplay is really amazing as well. So um, I haven't completely finished the game, but. Uh, you know, I will be finishing it through on our playthrough um, now. So we might as well get started. Um, first thing is the intro. New Atlanta. I'll let you enjoy. Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April 2072, 1113 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum Corporate Network. 1.26 a.m. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning space station Citadel. Like they would give you a warning. 1.33 a.m. Tri-Optimum security forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Tri-Optimum. The charges against you are severe. But they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows? There might even be a military grade neural interface in it for you. If you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level one access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. Music so crazy. All ethical constraints removed. Shodan. Re examine. Re 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 re. I re examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Ah, uh, snap. So that's where we're at. Um, basically, as you just heard, we have uh, lost the station to Shodan, uh, and we are aboard, and we have got to take the station back. So we might as well get started with that. Oh, wrong thing. Shit. New game. Chris. And I'm going to leave everything on normal. Um, basically, you can affect any different... Uh, preference that you might have, uh, you know, combat, enemies are fewer and weaker, feeble, never attack, or you can make them extremely strong and more numerous. Uh, the more interesting things are things like the, uh, the puzzles, you know, making puzzles more difficult or less difficult. Um, I believe that if you turn puzzles to zero, it, like, opens all of the doors, you can just sort of walk to the end, like, finish the game. 
Uh, but we might as well have some fun with the, with the puzzles too. I've, I haven't completed them all, so. Um, and this is another interesting fact about this game. Uh, there's a mode uh, called Cyberspace, which is a really interesting. <laughs> it's a really interesting almost mini game uh, where you're flying around in a really crazy Tron esque 3D environment with some really low poly, crazy looking stuff. Um, you'll see soon enough. Um, but I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do this. And, uh, yeah, this is why a lot of people shy away from this game. It has an insane amount of stuff going on. And this is, like, the, the most overwhelming thing to see when you start a game. Um, so, yeah. I'll, uh, clean this up a little bit for us. Full screen mode. And we're playing the enhanced edition of this game. Um, which is a recent re-release that lets us, uh, do this. Ooh, free look. Uh, otherwise, you have this icon by my head that you can't see um, that allows you to lean using the mouse. And you can move with the mouse and stuff, but it's not uh, the, the way you want to be playing this game. <laughs> um, you know, you have menus on the sides and things. Um, there's nothing in there, but you'll see soon enough. Um, so we're in neurosurgery right now. Pick up a little piece of medi kit, medi patch, lead pipe. So now I have a weapon, and we've got a log, audio log, and some data. So I'll let you guys listen to that. Employee two dash four six zero one. Listen carefully. My name is Rebecca Lansing, and I'm a counter terrorism consultant to Troy Optimum. We're tracking a disruption on Citadel Station, something involving an onboard AI called Showdown. You are Triops, only contact on station. The communications are out, and there is evidence of biological contamination. The mining laser is charging for a possible strike against Earth. There's a man named Nathan Darcy who may know something about taking the laser offline. His office is near the central hub on your level. The AI is on the bridge. Once the laser is out, look for the source of the problem there. And by the way, we know all about you and your friend Diego. Pull this off, and we'll clear your record. That implant you're wearing is military-grade hardware. Use it well. Lancing out. I hope you don't mind that I closed the uh, the text on the audio log. It's uh, an interesting thing. It actually doesn't match the <laughs> the audio log itself. Uh, it's hard. It's kind of distracting to see them both at the same time, but like I'll show you what I mean. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, this is also good to know. This is the, my last log uh, in my journal as the hacker. So you guys can take a look at that at your leisure. I'll just scan through them all as I get them. Um, we won't pay too, too much attention. Um, but I can check my emails again. And you can see the text doesn't match at all. Crazy, right? <laughs> These are, uh, beverage containers. Fragmentation grenade. This recharges my energy, which is the bottom bar at the top right. And this recharges my health, which is the top bar. And those things that I was um, killing over here and over there, they are security cameras. Um, so they lower the uh, security level uh, on this level of the station. Oh, I think I have a message. Let's just check it out. Welcome back to Citadel Showdown. Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories, houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5, level 6, 
holds a cool facility and executive suite, and level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9 and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. So I just wanted to let that, that play through, um, but what I've done, if you didn't notice the first time, in my log, um, here, oops, wrong Shutter thing, security's closing down on us. I'll give you this the one too. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the camera's medical CPU core that should ends using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. So yeah, that was. Shut down security is closing Oops. down on us. Come on. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras. No logs I want. CPU core that should Email. Using these to no the logs. No. What? That's all fine, but I don't really oh, see yeah. how it helps. Okay. The thing is everywhere. Shut down security is closing <laughs> down on us. The elevators are frozen. Uh, Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical this CPU one. core. That so this is me. And I learned that the code was 451 for that door. The thing is everywhere. So that's where that code is, in case you're curious. And here's a new one. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Yeah, so they refer to it as it, uh, sometimes as she, sometimes as he. It's like a pronoun independent computer thingy that looks like a female. These are kind of cool. They're um, one of the two hacking puzzles that exist in the game. They're uh, fairly straightforward uh, for the most part. You just switch these guys and complete the circuit for the switch. Get power from here to here. And that allows us to go down here. Pick up a stim, a stamina up, and a dart gun. So as you can see, we now have stam ups, frags, which are grenades, um, pipe, dart gun. So with our dart gun, we just point and shoot. And we'll test that out right about now. Oh, no damage, right. Switch the pipe. Well, we'll leave him down there for now. Murdelate this guy. And take his stamina up. And we're going to need to kill this guy, but... Boom. Gotcha, buddy. And... Logic Probe. That allows us to solve those puzzles um, without actually solving the puzzles. Climb up here. Now, I just wanted to go through, you know, all the basics as I'm as I'm playing through the first time. First time I see something, you know, I'll give you a, a rundown on, on what it is, or at least what I believe it is. <laughs> uh, you know, some stuff can be a little ambiguous. But, um, you know, we'll, I'll give you the rundown on, you know, what I think stuff is the first time, and then I'll just sort of let it be after that and get to just, you know, playing. I'll remark on stuff, but, you know. So when I was in here, um, oh yeah, there's a secret in here. When I was in here and I was on, got some stuff off the floor here, um, I got an access card that allowed me to access a few doors on this level, including that storage locker there. Um, so that's nice. Good to have. Let me in. Okay. Up here. If I can get to it. Uh, there's a head. A head of the, this person. Um... Something interesting that you may not know 
Um, all the weapons in this game have a code on the front, SV, uh, in, the, in this case. Uh, they're all developer initials for people who worked on the game. So that was pretty cool. And then um, the large majority of the development team is in hever severed head form um, in the game. Which is also kind of cool, but creepy. So this is a development team member, I believe. Or, you know, somebody who had um, to do with the game. Not somebody I recognize, but that's just probably me. <laughs> um, sorry, lady. Toss your head away. This is a door. So that's kind of cool, too. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a little bit of a secret. I'll shoot this guy. Uh, and then switch back to my pipe. Sorry, it's been a while. I have to get used to the controls again. Um, <clears throat> even with the enhanced edition, it's a little bit of a, a stretch to start using the mouse for your interface and stuff again. Um, turn on the lights in here. Now, um, in the beginning of the game, there's a little, like, in that room way back there. There's a little bit of a feature that helps you point things out. Um, and that can be used to be a little cheaty. So let's do it. Um, if I can find it. It's in... Input? Uh, input? Uh... Mouse hand, right? Uh, return? Okay. Maybe it was here and I just didn't... Ah, yeah. Online help. It disables it as you come out of the room. But if you turn it back on... It shows you stuff like the doors, but it'll show you hidden doors, which is kind of nice. Um, it'll show you stuff in the dark, which is also kind of nice. And I tend to leave that on. Just because I like to collect everything in these kinds of games, you know, or like the majority of things. Uh, you know. Another log. Status report. We're holed up in the beta quadrant behind a radioactive trench. The mutants are scavenging for food in the corridors and nesting in Gamma. I sent a party to the West Wing for supplies maybe 12 hours ago. Nathan Darcy is thinking up ways to disable the mining laser. It looks like we might hold them off. Might hold them off, lady. Um, I also got a neat new feature while I was in there that I probably won't use too much. Um, sensor round. So that's a new mod for my my uh, what do you call this neural interface. So I can see behind myself, and that's kind of nice because they like to spawn things behind you. But you know, I probably won't use it too much. It takes up a lot of real estate. Boom! It also uses energy, and there's a lot better stuff to use your energy on later in the game. So that. Get some more of these medi patches. Because we're going to need those. <laughs> That's guaranteed. Uh huh. Go down here. Murder this guy. Get another grenade. And uh, sight vision enhancement. Interesting thing about these, uh, these patches is that um, things like, like the sight. Uh, you'll use it, it'll enhance your sight in the dark, and then when it wears off, uh, you won't be able to see very well. It's worse than normal. But they have another patch that detoxifies you <laughs> from the chemical effects. Side effects from all the drugs, I guess. So that's uh, kind of nice. And something here you can do is to unload your gun, toss it away. Now you have more ammo for this one. Yep, oh, well, there you go. And I'll switch back to the pipe just for convenience sake. Bam! Cool. Lock door, yep. I think that's eventually where we'll need to be. So I believe the elevator to the next level is through that door. But you can't get there from this side. Um, let me just 
No, there was nothing down there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's where that zombie was. I'll turn the lights on in here. Now, there's a cyborg guy around this corner. I'll just hit him with a dart gun. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna berserk him. Boom. And then I know there's a guy down here. Bam! And there's a guy here. And a guy here. So that was a good four for one. And there's a camera. Bam! Ah! Get some! Get some! Alright. Man. It's so freaky, the inverted colors. These are cool. They're called hoppers. Um, they do a lot of damage. Eh. Eh. Got it. This lowers this. Oh. See? Uh, cheaty thingy. Pointing out good stuff to me. Hidden door. Oh, nitro pack. That's, uh, a kind of grenade that you can throw around walls. Which is kind of, kind of cool. Ah, and then we have these, uh, ML rounds. And we don't get that gun until a little bit later. Eh. Oh, that's... No. Okay. Cool. Oh, my volume's a little loud here. Woohoo! Alright. Um, let's not go to beta right now. Um. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go down. Yeah. Get some stuff. Uh, some tranquilizer rounds for the dart gun. Uh, stamina up. Another nitro pack. Reflex reaction aid. I can't remember what that does, but it probably just makes you faster. That's what it sounds like it does. And then batteries for our energy reserve. Oh, I just realized how low my health is. I am going to head back and heal, given that we're on the medical level of the station. Eh, 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 let me out. Okay. Edward Diego. Head back through where we came from. Stay away. Yeah, we'll go in here. Edward Diego. And heal up. And then I will save my game progress. Which is something I'm going to need to remember to do a lot in this game, because you do die. <laughs> you do die a fair bit. Ha! Yeah, okay. And energy. Let's go down here. Check this guy. Oh, another log. Another logs. The resistance faction led by Keith Swanson left a week ago. We found the mutants fighting for the remains this morning. We're caught between the mutants and the cyborgs, so I'm worried whether we can carry out Darcy's plan. We're going to send Ellen and Carl through the cyborg territory to reach the elevator. Another interesting thing you can do in this game is lean around corners. I wish they would have remapped those controls. Because it's uh, Z and C, which is a little bit of a... Eh, eh. I think there might be another one of these cyborg guys. No. Okay. We're good. Pipe. And... Under the log. back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only 12 of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. 
So in case you didn't notice, um, that's her head. So things didn't work out so well for her. Um, and then the cyborg gets more ML rounds. And these are Teflon coated ones. So they work really well on metallic enemies. Because apparently non-slip coating is important <laughs> when you're trying to defeat metal enemies, I guess. Oh, there we go. There we go. And turn the lights on. Turn the lights on, baby. Ooh, that one's a grizzly one. Ah. So, this is the armory. <clears throat> we can't get in there because... Shodan's security level is too high. And we also don't know the key for that. Um, let me just remind myself. Yeah, so this is this area where the little guy was. And the other guy. <clears throat> Let's go down here. Because there's a couple things you can get down here. Nothing of crazy recourse, but... Take that, mutant mama. And that. And that. Eat pipe. Lay in pipe. And cool. And there's some space. Alright, here we go. More space. <clears throat> Was that a... No, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Illusions. Da. Da da dead. Uh, cool. Yeah, keep going. Boom. This opens this, and I have to crouch a little bit. So you have crouch and prone. Oh, um. Hmm. Hmm. Save my progress here, because this place is radioactive. Um, stand up, stand up, stand up. And I may or may not have a bad time here. Oh, some grenades. Now let's get out of here. I'm... I'm a sick... I'm a sick person right now. Oh. Crouching. Not fun. There we go. Skeleton. And a combat booster. Nice. And a cyborg guy. And a camera. But unfortunately, you can't shoot through these. But neither can they. So that's kind of nice. And I can't grab items through them either. They're effectively opaque. You know, except for them. Being able to see through them. Making them not opaque at all. Alright. And uh, here we go. back up there. Up the uh, ladder there. And we'll come... Well, that's handy. <laughs> Who knew? I don't know if turning the lights on does anything good for you, but I'd imagine besides being able to see better, it doesn't do a whole lot. Nothing. There we go. Now I have a new weapon, Spark Beam. So Spark Beam has unlimited ammo, but it has a limited heat level. And you can change the power setting. Um, so tougher enemies you can take out with a high spark, and uh, weaker ones you can take out with a lower one. Um, or like, blow up boxes or crates or something. Good to have it. Helps conserve ammunition. This is just... What is this? I guess it's nothing. All right. All these, all these dead folks. Um. Beverage container. Ah. Everyone's enjoying this purple drink before they died. Yeah, nobody. There's probably nothing on any of these guys, but 
Why is that guy a skeleton? I don't exactly know. Why does this one have two helmets? Huh. Stocking up on helmets. Uh, log, new log. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand. You guys can just pause on the doing. text if you want to see them, but when we destroy the cameras and see, I'll go through them all. Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Group access, nice. Was this what he just? Okay. We're finished. Keith and the others went down the access corridor an hour ago to fight the mutants. None of them have come back. Soon the mutants will come for the rest of us. Here is some spark beam. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Eat spark beam! Mutant nerd. Stay much more efficient. This corpse, nothing. Debris. Oh, it's just debris. Nothing on you. Beverage container. Another log. Nice. I was already in logs. Gunther was killed today. Uh, same one. I can't let myself think about it. Oh no, it wasn't. I think okay. I how Shodan is doing. Uh, this one. Got the supplies from the West Wing. Hanson and Rain killed by mutants nesting the access corridor. There you go. We can't just hide here. They're killing us one by one. In an hour, about 20 of us are going to rush them. We'll try and break through the access corridor and then go for the bridge. If we fail, we'll save our souls. There's some kind of a cyborg guy. Yeah, cyborg guy. Right there, cyborg assassin. Murdered him. Uh, stun gun? Stun gun? Uh, yeah, stun gun. Nice. Okay. Spark beam. Okay, cool. And this guy has more ammo for the ML. Uh, da da da, medi patch. And a beverage container. Beverage containers. <clears throat> ML Teflon rounds. Nice. And uh, Trank Darts? Trank Darts. Cool, cool. And. Human Corpse. And down here. <clears throat> another Spark Beam. So you can do this uh, after you stand up. Set one. Okay, weapon, weapon. Set one spark beam high and one spark beam low. Well, maybe not that high. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe one. Yeah, screw it. One high and one medium-ish. Uh, we'll, we'll use the, the high one for now. Uh, some more trank darts. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da. Go up he here. Hidden door. I thought that was a hidden door, but blocked by security. Beta. Freaking mutants. This guy is still kicking. Yep. And here's the second type of puzzle that we have. These are wire crossing puzzles. Basically, mastermind. You can mess with them until the bar is fully formed. And you can cross them over each other, etc. I can't do that now. But it makes us a light bridge. Uh, no items. I'm gonna save just because uh, this area is a little. You know, you never know. You never know what to expect. It's been a while since I've saved, so I'll just.
do it. Needle darts. First aid kit. It's always a good sign there's trouble coming. Oh yeah, this there's a uh, a nerd down here. A nerd. A big cyborg nerd. Um, heavy high end spark. Yeah, that was the one. I was just gonna crank it. Crank it. There he is. That frigger. Ah. Take that. Oh, I can I can get you. I can get you with a lean. Alright. I can't reach that from here, can I? No. You have extremely long arms, but I still can't reach that. And might as well save, because that's accomplishment. Uh, human, human. What is this? It's just a wrapper. Okay. Just a wrapper. Bugs. I must be one of the last ones who hasn't changed. Shodan must have altered the healing machine I installed in Alpha Quadrant. It does things to people now. I, uh, I think I saw Beth yesterday, but she had so many implants I c couldn't be sure. If, if I can get to the machine, uh, I know I can set things right again. Get to the machine. The machine. I have a feeling I'm going to regret not reading all those as I go, because uh, the text is being different. Force bridge control. All right. Let's go find. Yeah, here. And there is a fatigue system, so I'm sprinting, but uh, you can easily run out of run out of gas, and then everything you do is slow. Annoyingly slow. Oh. Assassin! Well, that was a little bit rambunctious of me to jump in there. I knew these guys were here. I just spaced. Shit, what a... Huh? Okay. What was a... thought there was a something here? I guess not. Whoa. Hidden lift. Alright. Gas grenades. Adding to my collection of grenades. I can hop out of this hole, I think. That's another thing with fatigue, is that uh, if you're more fatigued, your jump height is lower. Which comes into play later in the game, some jumping puzzles. Oh, somebody's shooting me. Not sure who that is. But I'm going to medic patch myself. Cyborg assassin. Coming to do his dirty deed. Dirt cheat. Dirty deed, dirt cheat. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to hit myself with another medi. Just because I have the feeling there are going to be more cyborg guys kicking around. I am going to save an awful lot in this game. I think that's the main reason I haven't completed it. It's like just when you're doing it yourself and you just don't save, <laughs> and you have to redo it a large section. These are cool. They're um, hover grav lifts. Grav lifts. I knew there was more of these guys. I am fucker. Okay. I am super dead. Um, maybe I'll just... Oh, I can't get back out there yet. Um, I don't think. Button? Button? No, I'll just medipatch. Uh, maybe I won't medipatch. Maybe I will heal myself with a healing kit? Yeah. Cool. Ah! 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 
Another frag. So I easily could have like thrown a grenade up there. I don't know why I did not try that. Ah! Where are you at, friend? Some guy up there shooting at me. Fuck! Okay. There he is. I'll get you. I'll get you. Not enough energy. Okay. <laughs> right. Energy. Dirt gun. Suck it! Okay. Turn this on? Turn that off? Is that... Yeah, that's... Okay. I don't want to be going in there yet. We'll go up here, though. Here! Oh, that's probably a trap. That feels like a trap to me. That's one thing in this game. They play cruel, cra practical jokes on you. Any time they can. If it looks like a trap, or if you feel too comfortable, you're probably right to feel that way. <laughs> Come on. Why is that not... Oh, there's nothing on him. That's dumb. Okay. That's just me being dumb. Mm-hmm. And this guy. I knew there'd be something on one of these guys. More Teflon rounds and needle darts. And save. Six. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, just, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a bad idea. <laughs> It's just, ah, uh, yeah, it's a really bad idea. I'm gonna come back to that. Getting a little antsy. Oh, button? Button! Yes! I knew I could get out of there. So this is... Yeah, okay, so we're nearly back to the healing machine. Oh, freaking... I don't know if he respawned or what, but I didn't expect the respawns to be short. I don't think they are. I just I think that guy maybe we just missed him the first time. Uh, what was what the hell? Oh, that's yeah, glass flask. Go here, go here. Save seven. Ah, uh, nice. Let's go. Another one. Maybe they do respawn pretty quickly. Like, reasonably quickly. Uh. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> At least these guys are really straightforward to kill. And they're replacing my medi patches. At least that one was. Did I kill? No. Nope, nope. Take this, yeah, fecky. See what I mean about really long arms? Like I hit the guy with a pipe from like a million miles away. That one actually got a hit on me. This. Those crushed cans almost look like there's something. Maybe that's not a crushed can, actually. Is that... Oh, it's a Berserk. Fuck! Oh, maybe I've... Have I been leaving those? I think I have, actually, <laughs> been leaving those. Uh, they're not crushed cans. They're Berserk. Oh, yeah, I can take my medium spark beam now. Oh. Switch back to pipe for this. Kaboom. The heck? Yeah, maybe on normal they just they do respawn like a reasonable speed or an unreasonable speed or whatever you want to say. I don't know the significance of this clock, but it's just there. You can get up here, I believe. 
Because these crates have physics. So you can bump them around. Eh. Is there anything in this one? No. Okay. Oh, come on. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. I just want to get up there. Eh. Eh. Well, something is not going the way I expect it to. Oh, mini patch. I can maybe make this one a little. I don't think there's anything significant up there. I don't know why I'm bothering, but uh, anything in here? No. Okay. Eh. 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 I could have sworn. Okay. I've been up here. I know I have. Eh. Well, I guess there's nothing really. Dead mutant. Besides the dead mutant. And we get some needle bolts. Is that the same dart gun? SP? Yeah, okay. Needle bolts. Reload. Oh yeah, I have um, track darts too. Okay. Now where am I going? Oh. Want to kill this guy? Probably should not be using track darts for that. Uh, All right. Progress, progress. Uh, let's see. You can enable and disable stuff in the map, which is kind of nice. Um, you cannot click and drag it, which is an unfortunate thing. You have to use this derpy little thingy to move it around. So I'm down here. I'm facing this way. I like to turn on radius so I can see where I am quickly. Um, interesting thing you can do is type a little thing here. And that becomes a note on the level, I think. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, the messages. Type a little thing here. See? Pretty cool. Uh, so you can give yourself hints. Uh, and then you just delete them, I believe. This way. Yeah, good. Gone. Um, zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in and in and in. Till it's pointless. center on yourself. I don't know why critters, like, maybe I need a mod or something to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, right. All these guys. Back up here, I guess. AKA, maybe up here for the first time? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I've been here. So there. Eh. Source of many stuff. Many stuffs. Biological systems monitor. Ah, my. So you can't see it because it's underneath my head. But I have BioWare now, which brings up this thing and shows you your health, fatigue. Uh, it'll show you other status effects when they're relevant. Um, it's probably the least useful one, but it tells you what your fatigue is, so that's kind of nice. And there's no fall damage in this game. Uh, as far as I can see. <laughs> so that's nice too. Although it probably should, there should, probably should be some fall damage. Uh, da -da. uh, yeah. Where am I going? Let's find out. I'm supposed to be in beta, I believe. I'm looking for. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I know where I know where I'm going. Okay. We're caught between the mutants and the cyborgs, so I'm worried whether we can carry out Darcy's plan. Oh yes. Okay. The cyborg territory to reach the elevator. Spark beam. Yeah, so this is radioactive in here too, so I have to make it quick. Eh. Eh. And then loot this guy and be on my way. So 
I don't think... I think your contamination level can be pretty high, like up over 100, before you sustain damage from that. But... Get bent, Muto! Uh, yeah, I need to go back in there, but there are a couple little things I want to check first. Memo, go memo. Whatever that noise is. <clears throat> it's usually cyborgs of some kind, but. Yeah, see, this respawned. So totally. I'm gonna kill him anyways, because. Why not? You might have a thing on him. Always down for more medi patches. Oh, you're sneaking up on me, eh? Two many patches on that guy. Wow, are they are they really respawning this fast? It seems outrageous. It's like a non-stop zombie fighting game here. But hey, they're pretty easy to kill. Hardly ever do damage. I didn't say there was a. Hidden door or something? I guess not. Wait, soft paneling. Soft paneling? Or maybe I can do something with this. Maybe the spark beam? Yeah, no. I guess not. Uh, I'll go back here. Oh, you? Like they really are respawning at an impressive rate. Maybe I'm just being slow. Who knows? But it seems like they are respawning really quick. Or did I leave? Did I leave combat on three? I might have. <laughs> oh well. Uh. If I did, maybe I'll just... Oh, can I change that? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> I think I might have left combat on three, you guys. Uh, anyway. I'm going to save eight. Ah, we'll head back to beta real quick. Yep. Head back to beta... Yeah, I can't believe how fast these guys are coming back. Crazy. But it almost is it almost is fine because it like at least in this level, the enemies are really easy. Um and it gives you the opportunity to get some supplies off of them. However, it hasn't really been paying off. They hardly have anything. They occasionally have a medi patch or two. Um Maybe it's just those mutants that respawn, and it's not like... Because the hopper didn't respawn. And I don't think this... Uh, wait, am I going in the right way? Uh, yeah, I think I am. Hidden door. Getting me some energy back. Maybe I'll lower this a bit. Just for conservation's sake. Uh, emergency lever. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like something I should be doing, but uh, perhaps also a trap. Oh, what do we got here? Mystery virus, blah, 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 screw it up. Uh -huh. uh, it's just a little bit of plot. Oh, man. Do I press it? Yeah. I'm going to save first. <laughs> Nine. Ooh, V-mail. What do we got? Disengage life positive jettisoned. 99% jettisoned. 
three remaining ecopods. Okay. So everyone has gotten off. It, it, well, probably not gotten off. The majority have been turned into mutants. Can I... Oh, that was... I was too tall. Uh... Yeah. I wonder if throwing those at enemies actually does any damage to them. I don't think I want to find out. I guess... Uh, yeah. I, I guess I'll try that one day. One time. Ooh, a... Well, I don't need that. I actually don't need this one either. <laughs> Personal access card for Darcy. And a thermos full of nothing. Microscope. This is Darcy's lab. And this is Darcy's log, I'm guessing. Oh, and we missed a log. Alright, Althea. We can destroy the laser by firing it into the station's own shields. Isotope X-22 is stored in the science level, and we need to bring it down to the reactor level to power the shields. Then you turn them on, use the safety override code to enable the laser, and fire. The laser controls and my notes are on the science level, and the override code's in the science library. I have no idea how you're going to do all this, but good luck. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do all this now either. Now we've got to get to the bridge and stop Showdown. Some of us want to go to the flight deck and escape instead. Hopefully, there's still some weapons in the armory we can use against the mutants. Todd Blankenship was able to get the combination 705 from a security officer. We're going to try for it tomorrow. Armory 705. Nice. So, maybe we should head back to the armory and get the weapons. Keep your eyes open for rapidly respawning mutants. That one. <laughs> armory was not this way <laughs> by any stretch. It was over here -ish. Ah, power station charger. Okay. Yep. Killing these guys. Taking their stuff. It's gonna be like a just a litter of bodies. Um, terrible time remembering. Oh, hi. Hi there. Where are you guys even coming from? Wow. Yeah, three, I suppose. Uh, this way. Yeah. Oh, I'll seal this section off. That might help. I had a feeling that was happening. Zombies behind me. Mutants, not zombies. Mutants. Big difference. At least they're kind of so like zombies. That's nice. Beverage container. Get out of here. Back up to beta. Um, oh, what? What? The, it's... Uh, why do I feel like this is a different area now? This is where I just was. Um, I want that, actually. I um, didn't see that the first time. And I'm gonna take the... Oh, it's... Stun Gun. Right. Yeah, so I definitely don't need that. Okay. Stun Gun. I want to keep one Stun Gun, but... We'll just... Murder them instead of stunning them. Although, it's a lot of murdering. They're all respawning so quickly. Okay, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, it was here! Aha! Aha! That gate thing. Yes. Brilliant. And we'll go up here. 
man. It must be a, just a nightmare to watch me struggle. Spatially. <laughs> ah! Ah! Dang, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good, he can't, uh, he can't get in there, actually. Oh! <gasps> that guy, though. This guy can. Yep. Fry that guy. Man, so much good stuff now. Definitely in the right spot. I'll play that log for you. We underestimated Shodan. He's re I mean, it's reprogrammed regeneration rooms all over the station into cyborg conversion chamber. Anyone going in to get healed comes out as a cyborg. I've disconnected the medical CPUs from Shodan's main data bank, so we can reset them to their normal healing functions. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Cyborg conversion cancelled sounds good. Sorry, what was that? Was that Darcy's? Yeah. I mean, it's reprogrammed regeneration rooms all over the station into cyborg conversion chambers. Anyone going in to get healed comes out as a cyborg. I've disconnected the medical CPU from Shodan's main data bank, so we can reset them to their normal healing functions without Shodan noticing. I'm on my way now to reset the one on the hospital level. I feel like saving is a good time right now. Good time for saving. Oh, there's some like, yeah. Oh, better kill these guys. My spark not working. I don't think it is. Not enough energy. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll just go for a recharge and see. Oh, maybe I'll use grenades on them. Directed to Cyborg F71. We will now test the virus in a proper environment. Move mutagen experiment V5 to beta ground on the, on the executive level. Let the virus infect the ground and observe its effects on vegetable and animal life forms. When the strain is perfected, we will release it on the road, where it will facilitate our conquest. Yep, so there, uh, yeah. That's what happened. Everyone was infected with a virus. And mutated. Into crazy mutant dudes. Who respawn at an incredibly quick rate. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to... Switch to our... S no. I think we have enough darts. It says we have... I think that means we have nine clips of darts, which is... Nine clips of 15 will do it for a while. But perhaps they won't respawn now that I've disabled the cyborg thingy. Cyborg... ...ness? Cyborg... Conversion? Conversion. Yeah. Get back in here. Well, so much for that. Yup. Got him! Yeah, no more sparks. Or no more darts. I guess that means I just need to reload it, but... I used to, like, auto-reload, so... Yeah. <laughs> no auto-reload. Manual reloading only. That's okay. Hit up this health chamber. Save our progress. 
Boom. And I think that's where I'm going to leave you for this episode. But I will be back shortly with some more System Shock. Uh, not sure if I'm going to leave it on Difficulty 3. If I am on Difficulty 3, I'll have to rewatch the video and see if I left it there. Um, but if I'm not, I'll just catch up and then, you know, we'll pick up from where we are. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.